Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachah HaKodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit. Honest to you, brothers that are pushing the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth, and peace and grace, and blessings be multiplied upon the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So this is just a, a quick, quick, um, you know, uh, news and prophecy update. All right. You just had um, the uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. Um, I think he's probably still speaking at this time. Um, as you see, you know, more, um, you know, pop ups are coming up uh, for uh, what he's uh, speaking about. It says, um, but I just want to, you know, touch on this one right here. It says the Fed implications for U.S. economy highly uncertain. But in near term invasion and related events like likely to create additional upward pressure on inflation and weigh on economic activity. All right. So, you know, uh, in, in layman's terms, they're basically saying that the um, you know, the United States economy is, uh, is is really unstable right now. All right. And what is you know what's going to happen, although they already, you know, have have uh it in their minds what they what they want to do all right because remember the scripture says um here in the book of micah right chapter two uh just at the top verse one it says woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand all right so as it says in job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked okay so all of their, you know, these different policies and these different, you know, uh, manipulations of the market and the money. All right. All of that is, you know, something that these devils have the power to do, you know, in, in this moment. OK, they they have the ability to, um, you know, wipe the the, the, the the debt clean. All right. I'm speaking about the, you know, the, the ones who are the elites of this world. All right. The ones who have, as um, Meyer Amshel Bauer said, give me control of the money. I care not who make the laws. All right. Speaking of the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. All right. The uh, the child deans of this of this modern day Babylon. All right. But ultimately, they have a, a wicked device or right, wicked inventions that they want to achieve, which ultimately ties into what John, a revelator, saw. All right. In Revelation 13, uh, uh, 15, 16, 17 on down. Which is that, um, you know, that that karagma, OK, uh, um, having the world worship the beast and, you know, his image. But in order for them to do so, they need to create this, um, you know, chaos, create this uh, uh, situation so that they can bring in this, um, you know, uh, new world order. All right. Novus Seclorium. Uh, uh, all right. If I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, Salakia. But, you know, what's on the dollar bill. All right. Uh, um, new world order. All right, and that and that, and that new world order is them having. All right, is them having the um. The uh, uh um Salakia, the the complete control over the world economies. All right, and the peoples. All right, and and them being you know C H I P. So as it says here once again, it says implications for the economy of highly. Un is highly uncertainty is highly uncertain Salakia, but in the near term invasion so they're trying to use this um uh uh you know this uh ukraine and in russia you know situation as a uh catapult to you know push forward toward this um fourth industrial revolution all right and it says in related Related events likely to create additional upward pressure on inflation and weigh on the economic activity. So they're they're uh, um, <laughs> you know they're forecasting that inflation is going to get worse. Okay, which you know there's a uh, article right here that came out today. It says uh, steak prices will keep rising. Major U.S. meat packer says. So all right, the price of foods. All right, the price of you know essential goods, all those things are going up. All right, and who's being affected the most? The people that are at the bottom. All right, which is you, you know the the, the Israelites. All right, the the poor, the needy. 
All right. As the scripture says, what the, the, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Because when you have an economic collapse, the, the, when, when, so lucky I put Jacob, when you have an economic collapse, who gets hurt the most? The ones who are on the bottom of the collapse. All right. If a house of cards, you know, if a pyramid, you know, falls, the people that are on the bottom are going to take the, the brunt of the, of the, uh, uh, of the fall, all right. Of the, of the hurt. All right, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, it says, At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right? And because Jacob is going to be tr in trouble, you know, by way of, you know, the, the economics, you know, the economy, all right, not being able to, you know, uh, afford the foods because of these rising inflations. All right, uh, the rent, all right, a lot of Jake, Israelites, you know, are being affected, not being able to pay their, you know, their rent or their mortgage. Okay. They're because of the, the inflation of the, of the housing market as well. Okay. So with that, on top of, you know, the pestilence, all right, on top of the, uh, uh, plagues, all those things. All right. And, and even Esau, okay. Coming down with that sword, all that is going to, you know, uh, accumulate into a very, uh, great, terrible time for israel all right but the ones who are going to be saved out of it are the ones who are you know a part of the elect the ones who have repented all right and turned back and taken and have taken heed unto the warning of yahweh bashim yahweh shot all right but um you know i'm not going to continue you know like i said i just want to make this real quick i might lord willing you know come back and read this article but uh, you know i just really just want to touch on this uh, headline right here so you know, with that, call Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, Wa Baba Ball, Shalom to the elect.